I think inequality in the U.S. has received a lot of attention because it's been it's large and it's growing over time. My work is precisely actually on understanding a particular feature of, of inequality, which is in inequality in lifetime earnings. It's particularly important because it leads to differences in health outcomes, it leads to differences in consumption and wealth. So I hope what will come out of my work will, um, will speak directly to, to, to the policy debate on, on inequality. Growing up in Turkey, I interacted with people from um, different religious, the different religions, different ethnicities. And I think just like the U.S., Turkey is also a, a melting pot. It's just, it's, a, it's, a, it's an older country, so the, the melting process has, been, uh, has occurred actually a lot, a lot in the past. The economies are very different. The U.S. is a, is, is, is a, is a developed economy. It has its own set of problems, and, and Turkey is a, is a very different economy. It's growing, it's trying to grow uh, grow fast. However, in terms of inequality, um, the, the patterns are similar. The Turkey is also facing a, grow, uh, a, large, a large increase in inequality in, in income and in, in consumption and in wealth as well. So in, in that sense, um, while the economic environment, the, uh, the underlying macroeconomy is different, uh, the type of social uh, concerns that people have are actually quite, quite similar. One big question in, uh, in, in literature on, on inequality is to what extent um, the differences in, in earnings and, and consumption and wealth are, are socially efficient. And to the extent that there are inefficiencies, what could policy do, what could policymakers do to improve uh, the, the, the lives of, of people? I really liked being here because there are so many people uh, amongst staff economists but also um, the, the visiting scholars that work on many related issues. It's been a, a great group of people to talk to and get feedback on my work.